హలో ఎవరివాన్ దిస్ ఈస్ జీవి శ్రీనివాసరావు వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ద ప్రజెంట్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ కెమికల్ కైనటిక్స్ మాడ్యూల్ త్రీ ఇన్ దిస్ మాడ్యూల్ లెటస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద యూనిట్స్ ఆఫ్ రేట్ కానిస్టెంట్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఆర్డర్స్ ఆఫ్ రియాక్షన్ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ మాలిక్యులారిటీ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ అండ్ డిఫరెన్సెస్ బిట్వీన్ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ అండ్ మాలిక్యులారిటీ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ లైక్ అండ్ షేర్ గివ్ యువర్ కామెంట్స్ నౌ లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ ది యూనిట్స్ ఆఫ్ రెడ్ కానిస్టెంట్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఆర్డర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ రేట్ ఆఫ్ రియాక్షన్ ఈజ్ rate of a reaction rate equal to k into r to the power r a to the power x into b to the power y right for a zero order reaction zero order reaction x plus y is equal to zero so for zero order reaction rate equal to k into r to the power 0 now what are the units of rate units of rate mole per liter per second is equal to k into what is the unit of concentrations of reactants this is mole per liter to the power 0 and you know that mole per liter anything rise to the power 0 is 1 therefore mole per liter per second second minus 1 is equal to k therefore units of rate constant units of rate constant of zero order reaction zero order reaction is mole per liter per second so this is the unit of rate constant of a zero order reaction now for a first order reaction first order reaction x plus y is equal to 1 therefore rate equal to k into you take either a or b or r r to the power 1 so units of rate mole per liter per second is equal to k into what is the unit of concentration mole per liter to the power 1 so this is nothing but mole cancelled per liter cancelled therefore k is equal to second inverse therefore unit of rate constant of unit of rate constant of first order reaction first order reaction is second inverse so this is the unit of rate constant of a first order reaction now now unit of rate constant of a second order reaction second order reaction second order reaction means x plus y equal to 2 therefore rate equal to k into r to the power x plus y is nothing but 2 therefore rate unit of rate is mole per liter per second is equal to k into unit of concentration is mole per liter square so this is mole per liter per second is equal to k into mole square liter minus 2 therefore k is equal to this is mole minus 1 liter to the power 1 second minus 1 
so here if you bring this mole square to this uh, this becomes uh, mole by mole square which is nothing but mole to the power minus 1 and later minus 1 by later minus 2 becomes later to the power 1 and second so this is the unit of rate constant of uh, second order reaction unit of rate constant of third order reaction third order reaction in third order reaction x plus y equal to 3 so rate equal to k into r to the power 3 okay what is the unit of rate mole per liter per second is equal to k into unit of concentration of reactants mole per liter to the power 3 this becomes mole later minus 1 second minus 1 is equal to k into mole cube later minus 3 so if you bring this to this side k becomes k is equal to mole minus 2 later to second minus 1 so this is the unit of rate constant of third order reaction now let us see the units of rate constant of nth order in general so units of rate constant of nth order reaction nth order reaction means x plus y equal to n so rate equal to k into r to the power n unit of rate is mole later mole per liter per second is equal to k into mole per liter to the power n this is nothing but this is k into mole to the power n l to the power minus n so if you bring this to this side k is equal to mole per later work later minus 1 second minus 1 by this is mole to the power n l to the power minus n so this becomes mole 1 minus n 1 minus n later minus 1 by later minus n this is nothing but later n minus 1 second minus 1 so this is the unit of rate constant of a nth order reaction now let us discuss about uh, the molecularity of the reaction molecularity of reaction according to the kinetic theory collision theory as per collision theory reactions among the reactant molecules take place due to the collisions take place among the reactant molecules so collision theory what collision theory states collisions between collisions between reactant species reactant species result the reaction result the reaction so collisions between or collisions among the reactant species result in the reaction of the uh, reactant molecule now now let us see some examples decomposition of decomposition of ammonium nitrate nh4no2 so nh4 no2 decomposes to n2 plus h2o this is balanced chemical equation balanced chemical equation so in this reaction only one species only one molecule undergoes collision which means it may undergo collision with walls of the container therefore reaction takes place since only one molecule undergoes collision here the molecularity of the reaction is one so molecularity molecularity of the reaction reaction is one therefore this is referred as this is unimolecular 
reaction unimolecular now here let us take one more example hg hi gas it decomposes to h2 gas plus i2 gas so if you balance this equation 2hi gives h2 plus i2 so here in the balanced chemical equation two reacting species that means two molecules undergo collision because two molecules undergo collision reaction takes place so here as two molecules undergo collision the molecularity is 2 that means the molecularity is nothing but the minimum number of molecules undergo collision to carry on to carry out the reaction so here molecularity molecularity is 2 so it is a bimolecular reaction bimolecular reaction it is a bimolecular reaction because of two molecules undergo collision to complete the reaction let us take one more example nitrogen oxide nitric oxide combines with oxygen to form nitrogen dioxide here two molecules of nitric oxide combines with one molecule of oxygen and we get nitrogen dioxide so in this molecule three molecules are undergoing collision three molecules are undergoing collision therefore here the molecularity molecularity of reaction is 3 therefore it is trimolecular trimolecular reaction is a trimolecular reaction so molecularity of a reaction is a sum of the stoichiometric coefficients of reacting species reacting species means only reactants reacting species in a balanced chemical equation so in the above equation the sum of the stoichiometric coefficients the coefficient of nitric oxide is 2 coefficient of oxygen is 1 therefore 2 plus 1 is 3 therefore molecularity of the reaction is 3 so in a reaction aa plus aa plus bb gives cc plus dd so here stoichiometric coefficients stoichiometric coefficients <laughs> of reacting species of reacting species is a plus b therefore a plus b is the molecularity of the reaction manufacture of ammonia n3 n2 plus 3h2 gives 2 nh3 therefore number of colliding Number of colliding species is one plus three equal to four. Similarly, HBr plus O2, HBr plus O2 gives H2O plus Br2. So, if you balance this equation, four, this is two, this is two. So, totally, how many molecules have to collide? Number of molecules. To be collided, to be collided equal to five. Similarly, if you take another reaction, <coughs> so in this reaction, the reaction of oxidation of oxalate ion to carbon dioxide, two permanganate ions plus five oxalate ions plus sixteen H plus. Totally, this becomes number of molecules or species equal to. 2 plus 5 plus 16. How much this is? 23. Now observe these reactions. In all these reactions, in the first reaction, four molecules have to undergo collision. In the second one, five molecules have to undergo collision. In this reaction, 23 molecules have to undergo collision to carry on the reaction. Strictly speaking, to carry on a reaction. the collisions may take place among a maximum number of three molecules or three species beyond three species the simultaneous collision is not possible simultaneous collision is not possible see do you expect that the uh, collision takes place among 23 molecules or 23 species at once 
which is absolutely not possible so collision simultaneous collisions take place among a maximum of three molecules therefore the molecularity can be a maximum of three molecularity cannot be beyond three so previously we discussed nh4 no2 gives n2 plus h2o here the molecularity is only one and hi gives h2 plus i2 here the molecularity is at 2 that means this reaction takes place in a single step this reaction also can take place in a single step whenever the molecularity is 3 or less than that which means the collisions simultaneous collisions takes place among the three molecules or less than that such reactions take place in a single step re single step so such reactions are called single step reactions or those reactions are referred as elementary reactions elementary reactions elementary reactions means single step reactions single step reactions reactions that take place in a single step are called elementary reactions what type of reactions take place in single step when the collisions take place among one molecule or two molecules or three molecules then collisions are possible therefore such reactions complete in single step and those reactions are referred as elementary reactions if the collisions are to be taken among more than four molecules for example hbr plus o2 gives h2o plus br2 so here simultaneous collision uh, collision should take place among five molecules simultaneously which is not possible therefore such reactions take place in more than one step so such reactions such reactions take place <coughs> take place in more than one step so reactions take place in more than one step are referred as complex reactions so these reactions these are called as complex reactions complex reactions decomposition of hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide catalyzed by iodide catalyzed by iodide so hydrogen peroxide h2o2 plus i minus this gives h2o plus io minus so this is step one first step right now again h2o2 plus io minus gives h2o plus o2 of course iodide ion is left therefore the total reaction can be written as so the overall reaction can be written as 2h2o2 in the presence of iodide and hydroxide we get water plus oxide so this is step 2 so this reaction takes place in two steps the first step is known as first step is slow step first step is slow step second step is fast step second step is fast now the rate of the slow step determines the rate of the overall reaction so this is a complex reaction now keep, keep this point in mind in each step in each step this is an elementary reaction this reaction takes place in single step this reaction takes place in single step so each step in complex reaction is an elementary reaction now let us discuss the differences between molecularity and order of the reaction molecularity is the number of reacting species undergoing simultaneous collisions in the reaction order of the reaction is the sum of the powers of the concentration terms in the rate law expression 
Molecularity is a theoretical concept, whereas order is determined experimentally. Molecularity can have only integral values, that is 1, 2, 3, like, whereas order of the reaction can be, can have fractional values also. Molecularity cannot be zero, whereas order of the reaction can be zero. We have a zero order reactions where concentration of any reactant does not have any effect on the rate of the reaction. Molecularity cannot tell us anything about the mechanism, whereas order of the reaction tells us about the slow step in the mechanism and hence gives a clue about the mechanism. Molecularity does not change with temperature and pressure, whereas order of the reaction changes with temperature and pressure. Now let us do this problem. The conversion of X to Y follows second order kinetics. If the concentration of X is trebled, means concentration becomes three times. How will it affect the rate of the reaction? Now the reaction is XY, X gives Y, order of the reaction is 2. Now R1 equal to K into X square because second order reaction. Now if concentration of X becomes X becomes 3 times, 3 times means 3X. Now R2 equal to K into 3x square. This is nothing but k into 9x square is equal to 9 into kx square. What is this kx square? R1 equal to 9 into R1. Therefore, rate becomes rate becomes 9 times as concentration of x is Traveled. So this is the solution. We conclude this module here. Thank you.